In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can work with worksheets in a workbook in a little bit more detail. Now, currently, I don't have anything open in Excel, so let's reopen the file that we were working on earlier. Now, to open a file, we can either go to File and Open. Alternatively, we can press the keyboard shortcut Control O, and that's going to jump us to where we need to be. Now, if you're looking to open a file that you've accessed recently, then if you cast your eyes over to the right hand side of the screen, notice that we have the workbooks tab selected at the top and then we have our most recent files. They're divided down into groups, so you're going to see any files that you've pinned to the top of the list first. Then you're going to see all of the files that you've opened today, this week and then older. So we're looking for the file My First Workbook. I opened that today and there it is just there. So let's click to reopen. Now, as we mentioned previously, a workbook can contain multiple worksheets. And you can see that within this workbook, we have five worksheets at the bottom. I showed you how to add them by clicking on the plus just here to add more. Now, notice that when I've added two more, sheets six and seven are now appearing out of sequence. It goes sheet one, sheet six, sheet seven, sheet two. So how can we move these worksheets? Well, it's a simple case of dragging and dropping. And if we need to move multiple, we can simply hold down the control key and select the other worksheet, in this case, sheet six, and then we can drag all the way across to the end and drop them. And now everything is back in order. So really simple to move your worksheets around via drag and drop. What else can we do with these worksheets? Well, we can rename them. And I would highly recommend that you rename your worksheets to make them more meaningful for not only yourself, but anybody who's looking at this workbook. Now to rename a worksheet, again, there are two different ways that we can do this. We can right click on the worksheet and choose rename. Or alternatively, we can simply double click on the sheet name and then over type. So I'm going to call this product sales and hit enter. And you can go through and you can rename your worksheets, whatever you want to name them. So I'm just going to name a few of these. What else can we do with our worksheets? Well, if we right click on the first worksheet, we do get a contextual menu with other options in here. For example, we can change the tab color. Now, not only does this make your workbook look a little bit more colorful and interesting, it's also quite useful for grouping together worksheets of similar type. For example, I have three worksheets here called chart one, chart two and chart three. So these are all charts. Maybe I want to visually indicate that by making all of the tabs the same color. So once again, I can hold down control and select all of the tabs right click, go to tab color, and then I can choose whatever color I like. I'm going to go for this purple color. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Maybe I want pivot and dashboard to be the same color. Again, we can hold down control to select them and then choose a color from the palette. And for these ones, I'm going to give budget a orange color and for product sales, let's go for this blue. So using color to group your worksheets together is a really nice way to visually indicate data that kind of belongs together. Now, what about if I wanted to make a copy of a worksheet? So I've got data on this product sales worksheet. Maybe I want to reuse this data, but just update the order dates. So instead of creating a brand new worksheet and retyping all of this, I can simply copy the worksheet. Now, when it comes to copying, if we right click on this tab and go to move or copy, we need to make sure that we select create a copy at the bottom because notice we come to this same area to move or to copy. So if we don't have this selected, it's going to move the worksheet. If we select this, it's going to create a copy. We can specify where we want to move it to. So I want to keep it within this workbook, but I want to move it to the end. Let's click on OK 
And you can see exactly what we get. We now have product sales too, because we can't have two worksheets named the same thing. So you could go in and rename this, or you could just leave it as product sales too. So very easy to make a copy. And if we want to delete this worksheet, once again, we can right click and we have a delete option in here. Now, if we go back to here and go back into move or copy, if we don't select create a copy and just choose move to end, it's going to actually move it as opposed to making a copy. But it's also worth noting that we don't have to use the right click menu to move or to copy. If I want to move a tab, I can simply click and drag as we saw at the beginning of this lesson. And if I want to create a copy, I can simply do the same thing, but add in the control key. So if I hold down control, click and drag, I'm going to get a copy as opposed to just moving the worksheet. So really nice and straightforward. And the final thing to mention here, when it comes to adding worksheets, we've already seen one of the methods. We can click on the plus at the end. And I would say that tends to be the method I use most often, but we could also right click and go to insert. That's going to insert a worksheet. Or alternatively, we could go to the home tab into the cells group and underneath insert, we can insert a sheet from here as well. Notice I do that, it's called sheet 11. I can then move it to the end and rename it to whatever I like. And notice if we go back to insert sheet, we do also have a keyboard shortcut which provides us with another method. The keyboard shortcut is shift F11. So when I do that, notice I now have another sheet called sheet 12. Now I don't want either of these sheets, so I'm gonna hold down control, select them both, right click and then choose delete. So a few different options there when it comes to renaming, changing the tab color, and also moving, copying, and deleting worksheets. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.